Emirates today, and we are looking at how you shop in the sales. And shopping in the sales is the time you can make the most mistakes. As you might know, some of you ladies, I am on a dry January. It doesn't mean I should stop you shopping. Sales can be a very good time to buy things, but they can also be a time in which one can make big mistakes. So, come into the floor, there's a ton of labels, and you think to yourself, where shall I start? So I generally start with the labels I know. So follow me. And I'll be drawn to Somerset. Now Somerset is a really nice label, John Lewis do, and it's Alice Templey, who's a fantastic British designer. She's been around for about 15 years. Uh, even longer, and Kate Middleton wears her designs, but she does a less expensive range of some for um, John Lewis called Somerset, and she always does this kind of romantic dressing, so I'm excited to see what could be in the sale from her. So, all right, she loves a print, she loves a leopard print. Like, would you buy a mad bag in the sale? This is the question. I might, because it's something where, you know, a lot of us have our blue bag, our brown bag, another bag. So would you go for a mad leopard bag? If you had a plain black outfit, you wanted something to sparkle you up. I think that's fab. Good thing to buy in the sale. Um, and let me see what price it is. It was $2.59. It's $1.29. So half price. A uh, little pochette. Look, I like it when they do another extra little bag. And then there's something, I think, for your key. So and it's red inside. And it's red inside. Yeah, look, red inside. And it's leather, so that's actually probably cowhide. Um, that's something worth considering. She does lots of pretty dresses, but a good thing, when you're buying a dress in the sale, consider buying a dress that you're going to wear this summer, because I think that's a very clever way to invest. And summer clothes, to me, are less fashion-led than winter clothes. So, lace dress, pretty. You still want to show your arms, that could work. It's in a very nice, it's a really lovely lace flower print. It was 160 and it's 80 pounds. And you could find probably an identical dress from a designer this summer at full price. So I always look for white dresses in a winter sale and hopefully they don't have too much makeup on from people trying them on. And these ones actually don't have any, which is great. And if they do, you can get it washed. You know, makeup does come out and sometimes they'll give you a bigger discount. So we like that. Okay. <coughs> I have to say, Karen Millen dresses, the good thing about Karen Millen is she'll do a sort of designer dress at a high, high end of the high street price. Um, the bad thing is that a bubble size 14 they don't really cater for, uh, so I don't like that about their, about their label. But they do do a little bit of a cold shoulder that's in the sale, half price from £275. Um, and, you know, when you're deciding what dress to buy, I think it's not the time to go for something truly mad, because those are the kind of things that might just stay hanging in the back of our wardrobe with the label on. And we bought them because we thought, my God, that was so much money off. And yet, it wasn't the right shape or it wasn't the right color. Those are important things to remember in the sale. Don't be drawn by a wonderful color you always wear in the most diabolical shape that will never suit you. And equally, which I have been in the habit of doing, of buying something in the most beautiful colour I love, but in a shape which really kills me. I think that's I just really. said that. Yes. Sorry. Yes. Uh, somebody's asking, what is a great uh, dress size for short girls? Everything sure girl. seems you know, so okay. long. Let me just, okay, now we're here. Ladies, ask me these questions. If you don't have boobs and you want to think of somebody like Sarah Jessica Parker, I once stood next to Sarah Jessica Parker and in her five inch heels she came to here. So she is a very short lady, but she's in proportion. And what she tends to do is to show off her wrists and her ankles. So she'll wear a dress like that and it will come to maybe mid calf, but she'll have on it a fantastic high heel. It's going out flaring, showing off her waist, showing off her arms. And I think that, you know, that is always the shape dress I put somebody petite in. But if you're very curvy petite, I'd want to have it lower at the front. So, I think... Amy, and for yes. maternity... Can I just finish off, yeah. sorry, I'm going to finish off about, about uh, when you're shorter, because I have lots of questions from you ladies, and when I was doing my wardrobe clear out, about what do I wear if I'm petite, 
And my fundamental is that the same rules apply. You just need to be in proportion. So Anna is quite petite, and Anna will always wear things that are in proportion. So if she has a long cardi, that to me a long cardi would be to my knee, she'll have a long cardi to her knee. She won't get the cardi the same as mine, which will go to her calf. And it's just keeping those proportions right then keeps, keeps, you, keeps your height, keeps you taller. Yeah, makes you taller. Yes. Sorry, what was the other yeah. question? So, uh, what dress for maternity ideal? Dress? What dress for maternity? Where do we find that um, leopard print coat, by the way? Here. There. Okay. Yeah, Karen. Yeah, dress I was the other way, but I was locked in, and now this one's locked in. Mean, dress for maternity. You know, I saw one of the most beautiful dresses uh, yesterday, looking at the gold globes, which was Natalie Portman. She wore this yellow dress, like a sort of Jackie O moment. And I thought, how exquisite. But that was formal fabulousness. I think everyday dresses for maternity, you've got to still remember you have a waist, even if it's got higher. And I always found that when I wore dresses for maternity, because I didn't have good legs, come away, darling, from that eating thing. I would wear a dress over trousers, but if you have really great legs, just make sure you go in somewhere. If you wear a dress, even if it's the most baggy dress, over it wear a fitted jacket a size too small to give you the waist that you've lost during your pregnancy. That's my main tip for pregnancy. Right, we saw this other coat, Anna and I, when we rushed up here a few seconds ago. So do you, in a sale, go and buy a mad coat? Now, if you follow me, ladies, you'll know that that's the one thing I really buy in a sale. I bought that mad sequin thing in a sale um, five years ago from Harvey Nichols. I'll buy an expensive mad coat that I know will stay in my wardrobe for many, many years. So one such item could be this, might not be, depends if you like leopard, but leopard was in the season. And the leopard coat that I wore this season was one I bought seven years ago in sale. So you've got to think of it like that. This is a nice leopard I'm attached to the security tag, but it's a very nice fit. And you could kind of do up the buckle here. I wouldn't, with a coat like this, I wouldn't do up the button. I'd just turn it and wrench it in like a trench coat. That's quite fun. The fabric is nice. The print detail of the leopard is a good print. Um, and I haven't seen myself in a mirror. No, there's no mirror here. I'll just presume. Does it look okay, Anna? Yeah. Yeah. Great. And it's comfortable. Uh, that price is probably half price. Let's presume everything in here is half price. Karen Millen, I'd say a coat like this originally would have been about 230, 250 pounds. Ooh, 350, and it's half price. Okay, so moving on, because we saw something the other side. Me also, yes. what is a good print that could be transitioned from winter to summer? What do you recommend? A good Color print and that would take maybe from winter print. to summer. Interesting. I would say it's not about the print. It's about the fabric. So here we are amongst prints. Um, I would say that dress which I said nobody should wear, if you get something in a chiffon -y fabric and you wear it with black tights in the winter, then you can wear it with bare legs in the summer. So I think it's far more about the fabric that you buy. Um, you know, to me, that is a wintry fabric, that sort of damask and, the, you know, it could be, a, by the way, that petite lady, that's a very pretty dress, really pretty dress. I think navy tight. Actually, this you could do navy tights in the winter, and you could do bare legs in the summer with the sort of shocking pink shoe. That would be quite nice. Um, yeah, and I would actually, I know who would suit this so well. My sister in law would suit this very well. She could wear it literally for work with a long sleeve black jumper underneath um, and black tights, and in the summer, she'd wear it as a dress for a wedding. So for her, and she's sort of strawberry blonde, five foot three her it'd be a real investment piece and it is beautifully made it's um oh, i can't read it was it was how much anna Thank uh you. it was 90 no it was no yeah, it's, it's it's 90, 90 pounds now 90. okay that's not your cost price of the cashmere anna like 1000 okay <laughs> so i hope this is giving some help okay And they have always been the one to do sort of classic separates and lots of good knitwear and comfortable clothing. And they've always had a muted palette. So I'm interested to see what there might be in the sale that I might want. It's very 
very difficult. You know when you look in the rails and you can, oh, fifty percent off. Let me have a look. Everything's a dark colour. It's difficult to differentiate what might be nice. This is where sales shopping is tricky, and I wish they'd hang things differently. But they've got so much to get rid of that's squidged together. So I kind of, um, I think, good things to buy and sell are also real classics like a good pair, and another good pair of black trousers, things like that. So if you wanted to have, uh, let's say, you've got your kind of workwear black trouser, and then you've got a palazzo pant, you've got a black jean. You could consider this kind of trouser, which I call Sport Luxe. You can buy it in Zara, but what Zara won't have is the extra bit of detail. So this is a really nice stretch. It's a satin finish here. There's a lovely pocket. It's gonna flop on your bum. So it won't, if you have a slightly, you know, you wanna hide a bit of an upper thigh, these trousers are really great to make you not think you have a bit of a wobbly thigh. Um, if you don't like to be in case like a sausage and they are 90 pounds from 120 They have a nice little detail at the end too. You can wear it in the evening with a stiletto in the daytime You can wear it with a trainer and a polar neck So I like that as a, another black trouser in your cupboard and there'll be lots of labels here that will do that kind of thing Now I was heading somewhere finally. They are asking about your scarf. They want your my, scarf. Oh my scarf. This is this? Oh my god. You see, some of my favorite things. This I got in the Nicole Fari sale about 15 years ago. And it's the kind of scarf, scarves, great things to buy in a sale, never go out of fashion. Um, and it's the kind of scarf I put on when I feel I need to lift my face because it's a very good gray and it softens my face. I found a really lovely coat. And I want to introduce you to a label I'm loving and I've used on this morning and I'm introduced to it by Amber, who does calling and close to me on this morning, which is finery. Now, they're online for all of you who are coming to John Lewis and Oxford Street. But this, love, So, they make, how do I describe the clothes they make? They're sort of, they're just, they're quirky. They always have a nice coat. They're really beautifully made. I love, I love their label. It's so random that, but I really love how it looks like a really expensive label. And, and design, it looks like a sort of expensive cost or a boutique you would find somewhere. There's, there's something that they've evoked in this range. Um, really Everything's perfect for this coat I love. So, um, this is your kind of comfy coat. It's 77 pound, no, it's even less. Look, it's gone down and down and down and down and down. It was 155, and now what is it? It, it is was 77. 46. It's 46. Don't you love it? when there's lots of red writing on a label, because I you know you're going to get a bargain. Um, it's terrible I'm on a dry January, because if I was going to buy one coat this season, it would be this coat. Let me look at it in a mirror for one second. Oh, my, I, I'm going to put my bag just, 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 uh, just there. And that is a glorious coat. So if you've got your smart coat, you've got your day coat, you've got your night coat, this could be your weekend coat. But for £47, beautiful fabric and a really interesting introduction to a new label. So I really like finery. I don't know where it's from. Um, other dresses, you know, look at that. I think you've got to have great confidence to wear that. It's very bold print. So things like that I might avoid in a sale. Um, that might scare me a bit. Um, they do plain black trousers, fitted black trousers. They have quite a good structure in them, finery trousers, because they have a mixture of a good amount of lycra. So if, you, if you've been wearing a legging for years and you want to remove yourself from leggings, consider a sort of legging trouser. Um, wear it with boots in the winter and a nice uh, coat. So that is 19 pounds from 30. And they're good, side fastening, good support for a tummy. Good trouser, yeah, good trouser. Um, I love that coat, oh, I'm so gutted. I'm enjoying Queenie, it. would you recommend something, some coat for short girls? From Cos? No, from, from anything. Fine. Okay, are there many petite ladies watching? Or is there one lady watching who's petite? <laughs> the, the same lady. It's the same lady. Okay, let's see what you could buy though. Like, like lots of you say, can I go shopping with Trinity? So, what's your name? Uh, her name is Sonia. Sonia, okay, Sonia. So, you're petite. Okay, and what's your coloring? What's your coloring? <laughs> like, no, she was asking about coat. Oh, about a coat? Yeah. God, I would do that blue one. That's fabulous. 
Teens. Shall I show you on Anna? How tall are you? Uh, 150. 150? <laughs> yeah. 150. How tall are you, Anna? Uh, I'm 150. What's she? Uh, I don't know. Okay, fine. Ask her. All right. So, shall we put this coat on you and see what it looks like? Okay. Okay. There's Anna. Hi. <laughs> okay. Because Anna is my petite. Yeah. And we're just showing this to a lady who wants to buy it. I'll be one Oh, you got yeah. FaceTime yeah. me. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Fine. Yeah. Sorry. It's fine. That's fine. We're just showing it to a lady. Okay. All right. So there it is. Look. And I think it looks great on you, Anna. Thank you. I think it looks fab. So nice. It is. The it's colors. such a nice coat. And you are one meter what? Fifty. One meter uh, fifty. 60. One meter sixty. Yeah. Okay. Which is, I think, about five foot. Four. All right, there you go. Let's okay. take that off and let's just have a skim around the store um, and let's move on to another location because I've got to go to the bank soon. Let's just have a quick, we'll have a quick mush on down here, ladies. Let's have a man. <laughs> okay. John Lewis is a safe store. It's a kind of store where I think you can be introduced to fashion or you can be a lady who's kind of not wanting to really bite the bullet. You found a good dress for a petite lady. The lady thanks, says thank you to me. Okay, she loves the coat. Can I just say, that is a fab dress. What I like is the print goes like this. It's going to give you curves. It's really pretty length. It's going to hit your knee because on me it might be, it might be higher. I love that dress. I love it generally as a dress, but it would be very good on someone who teed. That's not in the sale. That is £249, but it's a good dress. Okay. I shopped at Whistles for about seven years, and when Whistles started, it had a whole mixture of designers. It wasn't just Whistles clothing, and then it just became Whistles clothing, and it evolved as a brand. But it was the place I discovered designer clothing, and so having Whistles here evokes those memories. But they have a few things that are quite good. So, let's look at coats again. This is it was two fifty at one seventy five. Classic grey coat. Quite nice. Oh, okay. We're on. Okay. All right. So we're going to head now because I've got to. I've got to go to the bank so okay let's just review tips for shopping think about what's going to be in season this summer it might seem a long way away but if you go through Vogue catwalk or you look at Grazia or you look at some catwalk predictions you can say oh let's see the three colors that are in and think of those colors when you're shopping if they have to suit you um, you might find that laces in the summer so something like the Somerset dress would be great and just look for things that are timeless I think it's a great time to buy scarves. It's a great time to buy cashmere. I always buy cashmere on the sale. And cashmere is something that is an expensive product. You might not have got it for Christmas. You might have wanted the cashmere jumper and it never came. So this is actually a cashmere wool blend, but it's 70 pounds uh, from Whistles. Um, and I do get shoes in the sale, but that's something I end up usually not wearing. And the thing I'm always most successful with in the sale is coats, because I love coats and it might be to somebody else who loves dresses. So you kind of, the thing you buy most of, there's no harm buying a bit more of in the sale. Don't take extreme risks apart from with a fun thing like a handbag, like the leopard handbag we loved. Anyway, hope that helps. And I'm gonna be back in a few days in my bathroom clearing that out, having cleared out my bedroom. And I'm gonna catch up with you on um, how my sales are going on Debop because that's the money that I've got to spend in February. So I need to put more clothes up to sell on Depop so I have more of a budget to spend in February. Bye.